During the Eurozone crisis, we have painfully witnessed in Greece how citizens suffer if the EU fails to act in unity and solidarity. And citizens should never anymore pay the price of a dysfunctioning monetary and economic union. Greece should be able to count on the union to fully reap the benefits of the green transition. But we also count on Greece to defend the fundaments of the union. A Europe based on democracy, rule of law, media freedom and non-discrimination. A Europe that respects fundamental rights, including human dignity and the right to apply for asylum. And I wonder, is this Europe as well, Prime Minister? If asylum seekers try to enter this Europe through your country, their rights are brutally trampled. They are pushed into the Turkish waters and land. Migrants are even forced to push back other migrants. And the border guards and masked men putting lives at risk enjoy impunity, but those who save lives are convicted. And therefore, I ask you, Mr. Mitsotakis, is this Europe? You're closing down the most human camps and force asylum seekers to live in remote and closed hotspots. You leave thousands of asylum seekers from Syria and Afghanistan in a legal limbo, using the fiction that they could return to Turkey, which they can't. And the lucky refugees that do get a status have to survive on the streets. Yet those helping refugees are restricted and criminalized. Those who speak up, including media, are silenced. But Prime Minister, covering up evidence doesn't help because the reality is recorded and reported time and time again by all relevant bodies of the UN, Council of Europe, by ombudsmen, NGOs and investigative journalists. And European judges refuse to accept this reality as it violates EU asylum law. That, Mr. Mitsakis, is Europe.